everybody out there on Wiper Street. You already know what it is. Salute everybody. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Steve Boosa GS. We got another scorecard reaction for you guys. And you already know what it is. Let's get it. Uh, you guys have been blowing me up about this. Apparently, this is one that just dropped. And I've gotten a lot of requests for both of these individuals. And it is my first time hearing from either of them. Uh, so let's dig into it. We got a... Uh, Kilograph Jones, which I believe is from Kenya. Uh, he will be the first artist from Kenya that we've heard. Uh, so this will be forming our opinion <laughs> of Kenyan hip hop right now, uh, as far as like anyone that we've heard from them. And then Sarkodi, if I'm not mistaken, is from Ghana, uh, which we've already heard Manifest and Lyrical Joe from Ghana, which we're a fan of both of them. Uh, plus Lyrical Joe, we have an interview with this Sunday that's coming out. So this will be our third artist from there. Uh, I'm excited about this based on the based on the comments that have been flooding my feed this is a banger and it was uh it was pretty much universally said that to go and dig into this i think it'll be a good idea to go and get a first impression of them uh each as far as them uh being in a collaboration and then be able to dig into each of their own individual stuff separately after this i think that's a dope way of going about this let me know what you think uh do me a favor run the gauntlet hit the like button hit the subscribe button little bell notification guy uh leave a comment I i've been enjoying uh, just going and educating myself and exploring the cultures and I want you guys to just leave me a piece of hip-hop trivia from your place of choice down in the comments below uh, just to kind of help me get a little bit more context about the two of these uh, and yeah I think that would be fucking dope and I would appreciate it and I love y'all hashtag GS gang you know what it is I'm gonna hop into this Ugh. Dun, dun, dun. Do we have a video? We got a video. I'll put it on big screen. Big screen. All right, let's go. Ooh, ooh. Hold up. Before we get into it. Oh, we got a fresh boy. Uh, if you watch the channel long enough, you know it's always going to be a good video. We got a fresh bang. Mm. This is destined to do a million plays now. Let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> Yo, Motif, turn me up on them headphones, bro. Goddamn, feel like I'm finally back in the zone If you want it, I got it, then I'll be happy to show We be cracking the code with the bro, King Sock It's the O to the G with the capital O Oh shit, about to pull up a chopper Woo! with the whole hand oh! We the bodies up in the spot of the program They tell me they're ready to chop I wasn't, I wasn't ready Hold up, okay this is what we're doing. Oh, we got these. This is these are rappers, rappers. I okay. Hold up. Oh man, let's go. <laughs> oh my 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 fucking blood is pumping now. Let's let's get it. Sample spooky. <laughs> Yo, motif, turn me up on them headphones, bro. Goddamn, feel like I'm finally back in the zone If you want it, I got it, then I'll be happy to show We be cracking the code with the bro, King Sock It's the O to the G with the capital O Oh shit, gotta ah. pull up a chopper and go ham We piling them bodies up in the spot of the program They tell me they're ready to chop a nigga Shut off with a machete, but you niggas are ready for the cone And finna fuck this game <laughs> Let's go I don't know which one this is Let me know who comes first down in the comments below Uh, yeah, this is Listen to the music theory He's got very, very, the, the, the chopper flows, very, very strange music sounding like to me. Um, I, I, I don't want to break down the music theory too much so we get a whole verse in, but just right off the rip, the, the syllable matchups, the actual flow, the diction, he's not mumbling even though we got the speed and everything. Like, let's go. This <laughs> The O to the G with the capital O Oh shit, about to pull up a chopper and go ham We piling them bodies up in the spot of the program They tell me they're ready to chop a nigga Shut off with a machete But you niggas are ready for the cone And finna fuck this game up Motherfuckers trying to figure how I came up I'm a killer on the loose somebody bagging every nigga On the feature, any bitty boy, it ain't luck Been sick of this high school I play ahead of thinking I might lose But Buddha, I be making the right moves I love it when they underestimate my ambition Cause they don't know what I'm planning Or anything that I might do Damn bro, chill Head for the piece of the pie, nigga Lazima ni kule Ain't nobody taking no chances Got my city on my back And be coming for the front Buddha, Kani Kuroga Then you know who the champ is 
kama masta wa mifuga marasta wa kugunga na tasta kama nesta na watu he's switching in and out fucking crazy as always guys uh if you guys have never seen me uh review anyone that does not just speak strictly english please if i'm missing any super hot bars that are in other language please drop them down in the comments below uh i appreciate you guys very much listen to how he just jumps not only in and out of different languages but listen to the flow switches too because it's so subtle he doesn't have like a like when I rap, there's a there's a very obvious transition. I feel like when I'm going from like a punchline flow to a chopper flow or something like that, and that's that's on me. Like I know that I can acknowledge it. It's very audible. You can hear it. He does this in a very seamless fashion to where like you you're still bobbing at like the same the same fucking BPM and it just fits fucking perfectly. Listen to this shit, man. Nigga lazy money cool ain't nobody taking no chances Got my city on my back and be coming for the fun Buddha can you could then you know who the champ is Nico Juna my master I'm a fuga my rasta Wako Gunga na Tasta Kama Nesta Now I tuna Sadaka na I look at my hustle bro I'm gonna attack the border fessa Oh mono jabondo I'm on a roll Yes Too fucking I think I got a cold Bless Tibi Shani na my junior wanna know Less But super naki fit up any flow Fresh Nima kuwa kayola kutoka 90s Okay ni taka then you know where you can find me You ain't step foot in the hood you soft nigga I be taking over Africa like I'm the fucking Chinese Only two niggas in the game you a pussy and you living in your last life so all the you believe up is a kuchu chana new fella you always rusha una penda crack fight last night nearly make thou so tattoo one of that is a bona leon in a filthy easy level muna juas in a o watu it's a pity to the rappers doing 360 damn all right he's a problem he's a problem he's a problem he's a, he's a certified problem off one uh, this is not like any kind of a new artist or nothing like that. My man is super polished. Listen to the voice and fluctuations. Listen to the breath control. The delivery is is literally flawless. I'm I'm the, I'm the first person to point out when I don't like a particular aspect of somebody's flow. And nah, he is he is super super fucking polished. In your last life, so all the yippity yap is a kuchu chana new fella. You always do shit on a penda cat fight. Last night nearly make thou so tattoo one of that is on a leon in a filthy. Easy level muna juas in a o watu. It's a pity to the rappers doing 360. Damn. All of the moves that we make in a wave. All of the moves that we make in a wave. You would think that way they work with the lazy. Competition run away 'cause they lazy. Combination of all I don't miss. All of the moves that we make in a wave. You would think that we didn't work with the name. Listen to listen to how in listen to the ad libs. You gotta like listen to like two layers back into the audio, and they're like going in on the fucking like the vibe on the ad lib of this. Listen to this. This is dope. You would think that we didn't work with the name. Competition run away with the list. Combination that will never yeah. miss. Man, I got a stamina ready for any rapper when you like it. I would trip me limb, I made the way you stop. I get nobody better than the niggas. I'm a chamo dada. Chuku chaka, I'm a tichi. Masa forget you, Wakanda. I'm a pimp. 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 They're both fire. All right, yo. Y'all are right. I apologize for, for, for taking so long to get to this. They they are both chopping this shit the fuck up. I I regret only knowing English right now. It's, it's like, it's, it's eating me alive. I, I know. You can tell. You can tell how polished it is. Like, music is universal. You can listen to something and not have a clue of what's being said and still know if it's if it's hit in a certain way. If you know what I mean? They got the they oh my god, it's so fucking good. Let's go. Combination that will never let me Man, I got a stamina ready for any rapper when you like it. I would trip me limb, I made the way you stop. I get nobody better than the niggas. I'm a chamo dada. Chuku chaka, I'm a tichi. Masa forget you, Wakanda. I'm a pimp. 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 I'm a for the nigga who they talk shit For the crush economy, we control the cockpit Go back, no beginning nigga you they fuck with I don't give a fuck, it's a banner by the chopsticks It's a female no more banner be a toxic Punchlines, but me fear my social boxes If we talking about Yo, he's nasty Let's fucking go Man, I I wish I knew what the fuck he was saying Like the, the delivery, the flow, the confidence, the voice and fluctuations All the things that I'm able to pick up and dissect And like speak intelligently about all of this shit is fucking... This is a banger. You would drive around and play this shit at full fucking volumes in the whip. And it, it just fits. And the chorus... The fact that the chorus is such a vibe too. Like, you don't hear... At least in American hip-hop right now. 
you don't hear too many people who are hitting a good vibe but also super lyrical it might just be russ for me that's hitting like that level of lyricism now they could be saying nothing but bullshit they could have no bars they could just be you know what i mean like it could just sound good sonically i don't know but i also can't speak on it i need you guys to tell me are they actually spitting flames as far as the content and message of it goes uh, because obviously I can't get my two cents on that, but as far as as far as what I'm hearing, as far as sonically, as far as the music theory, as far as the rhyme patterns, as far as the voice and fluctuations, like this shit is fire. Go back, no beginning they got you the fuck with. I don't give a fuck if you're about the top sticks. It's some of you move and be a toxic punch line, but if you're trying to box this, if you're talking money, I be MC. We're still out there, hammer so tally, you can't touch this. Still, I'm gonna go back to the video because I got people robbing and killing. I gotta give a hand out. All you niggas never give a shit about a nigga, but I made it, mama tell me who the man now. But be my makeup, all the verses I made deliver to the fullest time, ever since I came out. All you rappers wanna be my level, but I made a lot of money while you live in the same house. How come you niggas nobody rap like this? Who feel me chop up because you practice? Who feel me so we use some bad tactics? Hip hop, GRA, baby. See, that's what I'm talking about. You can know what's happening. The music theory is so good that I may not have a fucking clue of what's going on, but you can still, per like, it's so, uh, bro, come on now. It's so perfectly, like, done. Like, all you rappers want to be my level, but I made a lot of money while you're living in the same house. Who you niggas nobody rap like this? Who feel me chop up because you crap practice? Who feel me so we use some bad tactics? Hip hop, G, I rave, and you rap taxes. Really shit I ever wrote. Many samples of you niggas just want to see me broke. I'm open, so I'm open, quit me, so I'm staying woke. I know life is a lesson, I've been taking notes. Hey, yes, no be joke. The sample, the si stopping it and letting the sample fucking breathe right after that. Listen to how fucking sick this is. It's got like a like a Final Fantasy VIII kind of like fucking like Nordic chant to it. Listen to this, man. Listen to how listen to how smooth the vocals go in from from the, the rap into the sample. This it just it just sits on your chest. It just feels good. Hey yo, what more could you possibly ask for? He's making good points. Kylie Jones, Cody. Kylie Graf Jones. I'm sorry for mispronouncing that in the beginning. Not intentional. Man, you expect me to apologize for that? Okay. What All right, so Sarkody was second. Calligraph Jones was first. What do you want me to do? I'm sorry. I'm Kali Sakodi, I'm a big fan. 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 I'm it's over. All of the moves that we making a wave. <laughs> you would think that we That's so unnecessary to end on the vibe again. That was just a flex. He could have stopped it right there. There was no reason to bring the hook back again. They work with the Navy. Competition run away because they lazy. Combination of Ronaldo and Miss. All of the moves that we making a wave. You would think that we they work with the Navy. Competition run away cause they lazy Combination of will not a miss Yeah, yeah, this was tough And it's so dope too You gotta, when you, when you have representation from, from two different countries like that That come and just put out a fucking banger Like everyone wins, everybody wins Like yo, come on If you're not feeling this, I, that's, that's wild Either that, or just saying some really all out of pocket shit That I can't understand, one or the other uh, let's go to the scorecard. Now, the scorecard is going to be a little bit different. Obviously, it's difficult for me to score this being as how I may have heard 5% of the lyrics on this. A lot of this for me is going to be a vibe. A lot of this is picking out and dissecting the flows and things of that nature. So let's do the best that we can. Uh, but keep in mind that it's going to be up to you guys as the viewership who understands them to rate the kind of bars and lyrics in your own image. You feel me? Um, yeah, we're new to both of them. So if you're new to the channel, uh, in order for me to be a fan of you, you got to catch at least three of them on the channel. Both of them are one for one. If they have any, like, English-speaking songs that I would be able to, like, give a proper breakdown and stuff like that for, um, outside of, uh, of of flow and delivery and things of that nature, let me know. Uh, definitely looking to dig into both of them more in the future. I was completely unaware of how good they were. Uh, yeah, target audience for this. 
Yeah, yeah and no. Yes, in that I appreciate the hip hop and that it was a fucking banger and I'm able to appreciate it. Uh, no, in that it wasn't, you know, obviously not targeting for English speaking population. Uh, proper setting for this. This was whip music for me. This was this was in the whip, a hundred percent. Uh, Ghost Rider, some strange music vibes, uh, but really that's just because of the chopper flows. It, it's really hard to, to pin that down without having the lyrics translated. So for bars of lyrics, I'm giving it a flat 20 out of 25. And the reason for that, again, is that I don't have an excellent way of breaking it down. So a 20 is basically best they could do, nothing trash, solid versus, you know what I'm saying? That's usually like the benchmark for established artists. Um, when there wasn't like a haymaker or something like that that was thrown out. And obviously it's impossible for me to pick that up. So when you guys are doing your own scorecards uh, at home, you will adjust this accordingly if you have uh, more insight language-wise than I do. The delivery was 25 out of 25. If, if anyone is scoring the delivery on this less than 25 out of 25, I would argue that you have no comprehension of flow in hip-hop in any way, shape, or form, and you should not be doing scorecards. Uh, the beat selection was dope, 15 out of 15. I'll tell you what, I didn't like the sample at first. At first, the sample didn't seem to fit the beat until the end where they came into that shit so... That shit grew on me. That shit grew on me so fast. Uh, sound quality mixing, it was perfect. This is amazing. 15 out of 15. This is like... This was like a a list a list or status fucking quality effectiveness ten out of ten. If this doesn't make like, effectiveness, does this make you want to go and dig into the artist more? Absolutely. They were fucking monsters. Enjoyability. Uh, I'm gonna give it a ten out of ten. In all actuality, for me, uh, I would have to list like the language barrier is really there. So this would have to be on a vibes playlist for me, not a bars. You know, I mean, obviously not a bars playlist because not being able to, to judge that and know that for myself makes it uh, very difficult for me to have it in the same context that I would put like the bar heavy shit. Even though they are both revered as lyricists from the comments of what I'm seeing, I'm not taking anything away from them. This is just my ignorance as someone who doesn't speak the language. Uh, so yeah. 95 out of 100, that's my score. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Leave me down in the comments below. Let me know, especially where do you bar where do you rate the lyrics in the comments? Where do you rate the lyrics? Let me know. As always, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I will catch y'all on the next one. Let's go.